What are those Husqvarna Norden 901 riders talking so animatedly about? Linden, mate. What's that? Is it a slimmed down Africa Twin or a Yamaha Tenere 700? Dunno. But the fucking thing looks like an agile. These are exciting times. Finally, the ADV market is eschewing its over-bloated quarter-ton-plus ADV poses in preference for a slew of lighter and more agile off-road capable bikes without compromising their on-road excitement and comfort. And the mid-sized ADV market just got another very good contender in its ranks. Good enough that the KTM engineers at Matikofen are sweating. Already suffering the indignity of Yamaha's audacious Tenere 700 outselling their 890 Adventure Twins, KTM have essentially presented us with more of the same wrapped in different plastics, rather than countering with a similar capacity and cheapened Norden 701. And on launching their more expensive and heavier Norden 901, they proclaimed it the ultimate ADV bike. But apparently, no one told Aprilia. Aprilia have just brazenly taken a swipe at that crown with the Touareg 660 and the shiny trinket is now rolling around in the mud waiting for ADV riders to pick it up and make a choice. Excess price, power and weight or a cheaper solo road tourer with super motard like handling and light off-road enduro like dirt manners. It's our call. So let's see what the 54 time world tarmac title winning upstart has brought to the dirt after nearly 40 years of absence. Many reviewers out there are refusing to see the obvious. Aprilia's Touareg 660 is not only aimed squarely at Yamaha's Tenere 700, as good as the T7 is, Aprilia have loftier targets in their sights. The specs show that Aprilia have aimed this bike at everything in the mid-sized ADV market, from the Tenere 700 through to the KTM Adventure 890 Twins and finally, yes, the Norden 901. Arguably, the Touareg 660 will do most things better than all of the above, with only the 890R better on the dirt, while the Norden may shade the Touareg for comfort over long distances on the road. Aprilia's approach has been to offer a purpose-built ADV bike which handles excitingly on the road and is equally capable off-road. With as much ground clearance as the Tenere, but with longer suspension travel, yet a lower seat height and an equally narrow midsection, it's going to appeal to all riders, not just taller riders. This bike fits more people than any of the others. At 204 kilograms wet, with a lower center of gravity than Yamaha's Tenere by dint of the fuel tank extending down behind the engine and being low in the center of the frame rather than on top of it, and raising the air filter to almost handlebar height, the bike is reportedly a delight both in the dirt and on the road. Riding like a supermoto on the blacktop and an enduro in the dirt, the bike produces more torque and lower down than its sibling Aprilia 660 RS because of its revised camshaft tining and longer raised airbox snorkel. And let's not forget about the delicious noise out of that 270 degree crank parallel twin which partially erupts from the airbox like a true enduro. For all the world, feeling and sounding like a V-twin, but having only one cylinder head to keep the cost and the reciprocating mass down. Win-win. Now while the Touareg loses some power up top to the 660 RS, its retuning gives it more torque and lower down in the rev range for more low to mid-range grunt, perfect for both the dirt and real-world touring. And while 80 horsepower doesn't sound like much, its shorter first and second gears are designed to make it quick off the mark while being easy to lug through those single track trails off road. Weight saving is something Aprilia have focused on and it's a theme I love when it comes to off road bikes. The chassis is steel tube trellis for rigidity and weight savings. There are no plastic trim panels on the flanks. That would be excess weight. I'm loving this. The subframe is welded, which is a bummer for pure off road enthusiasts, but allows for maximum weight carrying when touring. Remember, this is a bike that has to do everything. Aprilia are possibly guilty of plagiarizing Yamaha's raised swing arm pivot above the plane of the crankshaft, resisting squatting on throttle application. But hey, that's a good thing. There are lots to love about the Tenere. And speaking of the swing arm on the Aprilia, it's cast aluminum, again for weight savings.
Of course, there's maintenance. The oil filter is a standard spin-on filter, readily available, but protected by the integrated bash plate which comes standard. Then there's the sensible easy access air filter mounted in front of the fuel filler cap in what looks like the gas tank. That's higher than the Tenere, KTM 890s and the Norden, where in all cases it is at the same level as the battery under the seat. Excellent! Any enduro rider will tell you that for river crossings, the higher the air intake the better. But more than just that, as an enduro rider I can tell you, you should be cleaning that air filter after every dusty, dirty, prolonged off-road adventure and the Aprilia makes that easy. The Touareg is $2,100 Canadian dollars more expensive than the Tenere 700, coming in at $14,595 Canadian and it's $500 more than the KTM Adventure. But that extra money goes principally to two of the Tenere's weakest areas. It's diabolically soft suspension and its lack of electronics. And while the latter may not matter too much to more dirt orientated ADV riders or to me, the former will. The Aprilia comes shod with three-way adjustable 43 KYB upside down forks and a three-way fully adjustable rear KYB shock. This is top spec suspension and according to the myriads of ride reviews available gets a unanimous thumbs up for its front end feedback. Amazing considering it has a 21 inch front wheel and long suspension. And that's unlike the Norden 901 reviews that I've been hearing. The Aprilia is firm but not harsh on the road. With little fork dive from the twin discs up front allowing riders to revel in this bike's sporty on road nature. Riders are lauding both its comfortable touring ability unlike the 890 Twins, and its supermoto-like handling when pushed. From all reports, this is an exciting bike to ride both on and off-road. Off-road, it's in an elite league for ADV bikes. Not Enduros, but ADV bikes. Twinned with its lighter weight, the suspension translates to almost a magic carpet ride at speed than the easily overwhelmed T7s does. The twin 300mm discs and Brembo 4 piston caliper front brakes are not radially mounted for weight savings and a gentle initial bite for off-road. But they do stop firmly and progressively, again fabulous for off-road. Of course the other part of that extra money over the Tenere at least goes to the electronic suite which the T7 lacks having just ABS. The Aprilia's modes are accessed by the TFT the Touareg comes with four rider modes, various levels of ABS and traction control with urban, explorer and off-road presets and a custom preset. Within the modes you can switch off ABS and traction control. The ABS can be turned off on just the rear or the front as well if you like. For touring the Aprilia comes with cruise control as standard. But unlike the Norden the quick shifter is an optional extra which will be about $270 Canadian. At that price, I'd have it. Plastic panniers fit into the integrated hangers on the bike. But if it all sounds too good to be true, then for you half-empty types, here's my list of misses for the Aprilia Touareg. Firstly, and most importantly, the rear shock is sprung ridiculously lightly for 165 to 175 pound riders. That is ridiculous. As even a lightweight rider with a proper boots, knee guards, hip protectors, ballistic jacket and helmet are quickly going to overwhelm that spring. So that'll be an upgrade then. Secondly, and I don't want to generalize here, but it is Italian and it is reported that the radiator feeds plenty of warmth to the knees, which is great for wintry northern climbs, but may be an issue in the native Italy in the summer. Perhaps the biggest gripe is the scarcity of dealerships in North America. While there are some not too far from me, there are none really local, and that does make me worry about factors like reliability, servicing and warranty issues. And of course, it's a new model, so it's given that you will be beta testing this for a year or two for us more prudent and skeptical types before we take the leap. Overall though, I'm impressed with what I'm hearing about this middleweight bike. It is capable both on and off-road, well thought out for easy maintenance, economical and comes with cruise and the available quick shifter. If you're looking for one bike, this could be a candidate for you ADV riders out there. Finally. If this is the direction that ADV bikes are headed, then hooray! Lighter weight, better off-road manners and plucky on-road performance is something we can all applaud.
Hopefully this will inspire KTM to release their 401, 701 Northerns and keep this lower weight, lower price trend going. The idea of taking a 600 pound bike off road gives me the willies. Yep, that was the willies. What do you think? If you're thinking of a Tenere 700, an 890 Adventure or even a Norden, is the Aprilia's relatively low cost, ease of maintenance and plucky performance enough to have you holding off until you get the chance to try one? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers and once again, thanks for watching. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. If this is the first time you've watched, please consider subscribing. I do product reviews, motorcycle reviews, off-road and on-road vlogs, as well as tours. Don't forget to follow me on social media, that's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, and to like, and especially, I'm begging you here folks, subscribe. This is the Blue Mopple Rider, out.